How's it going everyone and welcome to today's video here on the Bold Cafe YouTube channel. I'm out here in this glorious afternoon right next to the fantastic Yangtze River. In today's video I want to be sharing with you some awesome tips to help guys out there who have just been holding on to that fading hair for too long and they need some encouragement to finally bite the bullet and say enough's enough, that final push over the edge to just buzz off that hair, get rid of it. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing some of my own tips and also some fantastic tips from the guys over on the Bold Cafe Instagram. That's right, recently I was sent this question via DM. What advice can you give to me to just help me finally take action? And I find that there's a lot of guys in this same situation. So many people are holding on to this hair for far too long. Now, the first thing to draw your attention to is all of those things that you're missing out on by worrying about your hair. I mean, we can think of the obvious ones. We've got social events, you know, going to clubs. If you can't wear that hat, how are you getting in? Going on dates, even swimming, all things like that. I mean, even something like rolling that window down on your car and letting the breeze, just feeling the breeze. These are things that people all too often avoid when they're constantly worrying about that hair. The example I was given over on Instagram was riding on a roller coaster. This guy couldn't even enjoy something like that. Couldn't enjoy it because they were there worrying about how this roller coaster whoa, was gonna affect their hair. And when they decided to just buzz it off, the next time they went, it was a whole new experience for them and they enjoyed it much more. And so if you've been clinging onto that hair for a long time, you might have even gotten used to just missing out on these things altogether. At first, you know, you consciously avoided them, but now it might just be a case that you just don't even consider these types of activities. But don't, okay, don't. Just get rid of it, start living your life worry-free, get out there, enjoy these activities and start experiencing life the way you should. Now, the next thing that I think you could do is think about a time when you have experienced a challenge in your life. And I mean, this could apply to anything, right? 99% of challenges out there, they're gonna make you feel nervous, they're gonna make you scared, and they're gonna have you making up things in your mind. But like all of those things, once you, do for, once you go for it, and once you do it, the result, okay, the resulting action just feels fantastic. I mean, even something like going to the gym, yes, yeah, some guys struggle to muster up the motivation to go and hit the gym, but after you've had that workout even, it just feels fantastic. So I want you to think about that. Focus on, you know, any time in your life when you've had a challenging situation, but you've managed to build up the courage to just go for it. Think about how awesome it felt once you had done it. And the same is 100% going to apply to this action of getting rid of that fading hair for the first time. Once it's done, it just feels absolutely fantastic. Now, the next thing that I think you could do is grab a friend, okay? Do this with a friend, someone that you can trust, okay? Someone that you can open up to, you know, someone who's got your back. The type of person that's gonna get you G'd up, get you excited for doing something like this. You know, you don't want the sort of person Person, you know, you're gonna tell them, oh, I'm thinking about getting rid of this hair for the first time when they say, mm, I don't know if that's a good idea. Okay, that is not the sort of person that you wanna be bringing on this journey with you. Get that mate, get that friend who's gonna be super pumped for you, super excited, and they're just gonna make you feel even better about taking that action. I think most people have got someone out there like that in your life if you haven't, Make sure you find one, because we all need someone like that. And if you still can't find them, well, that's why I'm here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So get that friend over and remember, right? Do it together. A problem shared is a problem halved. I feel like that friend is going to feel really good because they're going to be honored that you have chosen them to open up to. And maybe this is the first time you're actually sharing the struggle with another person. This is the first time you're opening up to anyone. And so it's kind of like a double whammy here, right? You're gonna feel that relief from to finally open up to someone and explain all of those negative feelings that you've been feeling, but that now you have decided that you're gonna take action. That's gonna be a huge bonus, a great feeling. and. Once you finally do it, it's gonna be like a double relief because you're going to get relief 
that you finally achieved it, right? So it's like a, a double effort, a double weight off your shoulders and just think about how awesome that is gonna feel. But next up, and it kind of ties in with the first point, is that you need to see it, you need to view it as a challenge. You see, if you wanna get anywhere in life, really, we need to continuously be challenging ourselves, right? Pushing ourselves out of our comfort zone, experiencing new things and learning from it. And if you've been suffering for a long time with this hair loss, right? Chances are you've spent a long time not progressing on anything because you've been spending a lot of that energy worrying about this hair. Um, you may have even been regressing, right? It's sinking deeper and deeper into that anxiety, into that worry. Well, see this, taking this action of finally getting rid of that hair, it can be seen as a way to kickstart that progression, kickstart a new you, and to start learning, start growing, okay? It really is onwards and upwards once you take that action. Now, I also wanna say that, you know, as an adult, right, we are kind of susceptible. We often see the negative in things rather than viewing it uh, from the positive perspective. Think, you know, glass half empty, but we need to be thinking glass half full. One of the guys over on Instagram, he shared with me this awesome quote and I'll read it to you here. He said, you'll worry less about what people think of you when you realize how seldom they do. We're all too worried, worrying about, oh, you know, People often put off this hair stuff because they're worried that people, people's reaction, they're worried about how people are going to react. But the thing is, is often you'll find that people, well, they just don't react because they're so wrapped up in their own worries that they just don't even react to your your bald head. Your new bald head is, it just isn't anything to them. They're much too concerned with their own demons. And so finally, you know, with all that advice being said, I wanna wrap this video up by saying, I feel like it's time to start thinking, what if it looks awesome? You know, think about it. What if you shave your head and it looks bloody fantastic? What if everyone loves it? What if everyone applauds, applauds it? What if everyone applauds you for taking that action, right? You cannot be too concerned with the negatives because there's the possibility of so much good coming from all of this. I mean, what if you finally get rid of that wavy, thin hair and it looks bloody awesome. I hope some of the stuff I mentioned in this video can help some of the guys out there with that final push. You know, I find that with a lot of people, they need to reach that point of no return. Through some, it comes through embarrassment, right? Maybe constantly you've got friends, you know, friends, family, just making little jokes, right? Harmless fun in their eyes, but maybe it sort of embarrasses you enough that you say, enough's enough, I'm gonna get rid of that thin hair. You know, maybe you're like me and you're tired of all the worry. But I was thinking, you know, what about that guy who really wants to do it, but they just can't bring themselves to take that action? Well, I hope some of the stuff we mentioned in today's video, you can kind of change that mindset to a bit more of a positive mindset and it can give you the encouragement give you the positivity give you the confidence to finally go for it you know in my experience now having done this for you know seven eight months speaking to tons and tons of guys who i've helped personally uh, or who helped themselves you know maybe they shaved their head they took action way way before you know it really is it sounds like a cliche but it's so true so many guys wish that they had done it sooner so Try not to sit on the fence any longer. I hope this can give some of you out there the encouragement to just go for it. I wanna thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you to all the guys over on Instagram who shared with me their own pieces of advice. If you're not following the Instagram, make sure you go over there and follow because I post a lot over there, daily life, some lovely questions. I like interacting over there. Make sure you go follow that. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave it a little like down there. We're here by the Yangtze. I want to thank you so much again for watching this video. I, of course, will see you in the next one. Goodbye.